nine. It's gonna be close. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Welcome back, ladies and gamers, to the next matchup today. In the Golden Heart Cup, we've got Chaz Mac Gaming taking on Navi. And let's see who was going to be winning today. Team Purr is in with the first attack for Chaz Mac Gaming. Little Lalo action with a hero dive, a golem, and a nice golem. Skelly Donut to kick us off, though? Question mark? Yes, sir. Skeletons, invis. Rage spell, going for that monolith structure, going for that CC building. Cool, next invis is in. Boom, down goes the monolith, down goes the CC, perfect. Perfect. Queen, giant, baby dragon on the left side of the base, very nice, very nice. Found a couple Teslas over here where we're dropping the king, going toward the EO artillery. We got two wall breakers. Golem is with the king. One wall breaker for the queen to go to the scatter shot. Alright. Ice golem to help support that queen. Did he drop the ice golem too early? I think just barely, yeah, by a few seconds. Not the end of the world, though. King going in toward the expo, toward the EO artillery. There's a log launcher. Balloon. Oh, he's going to need another balloon. And he does. Alright, King Ability goes off. Queen can take out the enemy champion. Don't think that Ice Golem got any value, but oh well. Log Launcher taking out the left multi at least. Clutch. Clutch. Oh, the walls are open. The Yetis might even be able to take out the right multi. This is going to be a good Log Launcher if they do. I think they do. Oh, this is going to be so clutch. Look at this, without even using any spells, those yetis are also going to get the second multi. That's beautiful. We still have a champion to deploy to help out as well. <laughs> I really like this plan. Just got to make sure we get enough balloons perfectly going for the town hall. Do we have to freeze that multi? He's going to try not to. Oh, jeez, these balloons are getting kind of clapped. Ah! That warden ability might have been a little bit too early. There's a freeze on the multi. Another Lava Hound from the right side. Champion to help assist over there. These balloons are slowly getting wrecked. Warden staying with them. Send a couple of headhunters. Freeze the enemy champion. Okay. Oh, that multi didn't go down? What? That's awkward. Invis the champion. A few more balloons. He still is looking decent, though. He's got one more haste. Do we haste through the multi right away? I think we should. <coughs> Unless Diggy can stun it, and he does. Oh, Diggy OP. Warden doing what Wardens do best. He's doing cleanup. <coughs> we saved the haste spell for the last two balloons on the back side of the base. Sure. Diggy, Diggy gets through. Oh my gosh, he's got it. He's got it. Well, hold on. Does this champion die? He might time fill if she dies. Look at that. Dig oh, the giant bomb. Rip. Hold on. Clean up, clean up, clean up. 13, 12, 11. 10, 9, it's going to be close. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 second to spare. And it's a 3 star for Chazmac to open this match. Gaku is in. First attack for Na'Vi. Couple of lightning spells for a sweeper. It's going to be a super dragon attack with no healers, but we do have a recall. Sui Queen for the air defense, and then recall her the heck out of there. Cool. When do we actually use the recall? Boom. Take her out now. Drop her on the 9 o'clock side of the base. Alright. Alright. Here we go with the Dargans. From the bottom left. With the Warden with the Phoenix. King with the Queen. Pop the Warden ability right away. Sure. Rage our way through. Queen's still healthy for now. Dragons need to take out this left multi before Queen ends up walking the wrong way. She's okay. She's going up. Poison spell is in for all these archers, super minions, headhunters on defense. We still got a battle blimp for the town hall, but it's got a long ways to fly. Hopefully it doesn't hit traps. Super dragons are trying to pull all the traps anyway. They do pull a few more seeking air mines in the core. And a few more. Battle blimp should hopefully be safe now. Boom, boom, boom. Makes it over the walls at least. What's there? Tornado Trap. We rage. We're all out of spells after that rage. 
What's in there? It's air troops. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Get that town hall. Get that town hall. No freezes. Town hall goes down. Queen pops ability. Super dragon. One of them left to get this left side expo. He's looking all right with the royal champion still to go. I think he's got it crushed. Gaku with the super dragon. Spam. Gonna be able to get through this base. Nice. He's definitely got it. Royal champion on the right side. She can handle all the rest of the defenses by herself completely. If needed. Queen Super Dragon gonna pick up that last expo though. RC ability can crush the rest of the defenses. It's gonna be like a minute to spare, dude. Such a fast three star. On top of that, beautiful hit from Gaku, and we are all tied up. Three to three. Mech is in for Jazz Mac Gaming. A little Queen Charge Lalo action with an Ice Hound. Okay. Cool. Queen on the right side of the base. He's finding a lot of Teslas early. This King, is he gonna pull Queen the wrong way? Uh, not sure that's what he wanted. Healers on the queen. Headhunter? Yes. She might still need the rage anyway. Ooh, he's playing it risky here. There's the first rage. Sure. I'm not even convinced queen goes in for this air defense. That could cause problems as well. Oh, bro. She's going to keep walking up. It's going to get so awkward. You got to pop the king ability now. You got to pop the king ability like right now or invis spell or something. There's the king ability. Skelly traps might just stall her up long enough that she reroutes. Okay, that skelly, that last skelly trap kind of saved him. Battle drill. Interesting. Oh, that battle drill is not going for the multi though. That's so awkward. Yeti mites were supposed to get this multi for him. Healers are in big trouble. Invis tower. Queen retargeting. CC troops. Oh gosh, this is looking messy for Mech. He did get that multi, but the, the town hall can re hit the healers. Awkward. He's using every single freeze to try and keep these healers alive, man. Every single freeze. Wow. Wow, was that worth it? Was that worth it? I mean, the healers are still going to die, right? I think he should have just been willing to pop ability instead of using that last invis and rage. Would have saved him some spells. Because she's still not even going to get the monolith, is she? I don't think so. Lalo from the left. Champion toward the upper multi. Queen does not get the monolith. So I do think he actually wasted a couple spells, unfortunately. Is there any way this could still pull through? Pop Warren ability. We tried to drop the rage. We were not able to save the champion with that Warren ability. Oi. Double damage multi. Might just wreck him unless the balloons. They get through it pretty quickly. Hold on. The scatter shot on the back end should save the base. Monolith getting skipped as well. Balloons are thinning out like crazy. It's a defense for Kazuma. Defense for Kazuma. That queen taking an interesting path back and forth. Kind of messed it up. Very nice try, but it's only going to get 83, 84%, something like that. Oh, maybe just 83. If he has enough time. Nice try. Morio is in for Navi. Ward on the left side of the base. Okay. Okay. Baby dragon. Sure. We got super bowler smash lined up here today. Cool. Archer doing some funneling on the top side of the base. Warden grabs the air defense. Jump spell already placed. Alright. I guess he's not going to wait too long here for Warden to get much. Or maybe he will. Interesting. That jump spell is going to slowly start to expire. I guess it lasts like 90 seconds, so not too big of a deal. He's going to let Warden snipe the champion. And he does. Get the DE storage as well. Do we even wait for him to get the scatter shot? Uh, I don't know. Nope. Here we go. Here we go. Pull the Warden with the E-Titan. Drop the bowlers. Let's go. Let's go. There's the Ice Golem. Queen. Another Ice Golem. Bowlers. One more healer. All right. Making our way inside. King. Drop the king in the siege barracks, dude. 
There we go. It's being very slow with it. Popping the warden ability on the outside of the base as we make our way through the first jump. Sure. Raged up bowler is going to get a ton of value here. Tornado Trap was spinning him around for a couple seconds, slowing him down, but now we are pushing fast. One more jump to get us all the way through into the Town Hall section. I like that. King, Pekka, Army of Wizards on the bottom side. Going to be able to get a ton of value. Queen can snipe that builder bomb tower, but she gets distracted by pups. One more freeze on the Town Hall Monolith. Still got two more spells that we're waiting on. Just got to be patient. There's an, the last freeze. We got Champion to deploy. We got one Invis spell to go, and that's it. Out of the Siege Barracks comes an E-Titan and a Yeti. Royal Champion on the left side, Scattershot. All the bowlers died, and Queen taking the jump away from the Town Hall? She doesn't go to the Town Hall. Morio, you gotta be kidding me, bro. He one-starred in the last match for Na'Vi, and he's gonna one-star again today? Oh, dude, no way. You can't make this stuff up. Or does, do they get it? Do they get it? Little Yeti? Not enough. Oh my gosh, dude. Morio is just having such a rough day. RIP! Navi in big trouble again! Two matches in a row! Yikes, he's not getting that Town Hall. It's really good percent, but the one star is just a killer, man. It's a killer. Oof. 89%. Timtastic! Is in with some la low here. Six lightning spells and an earthquake. Cool. Very cool. Archers on the left. Barbarian testing for traps. Then the Yeti and the Flame Flinger. Sure. And the Yeti Mine's gonna pick up the Archer Tower here. Clutch. Flame Flinger's gonna be able to get a bunch of value now. Chazmak with a star lead after that one star from Na'Vi. Down goes the Monolith, Inferno, and Rage Tower from the Zaps. Cool. Cool, cool. Queen, Unicorn on the left side of the base, of course. Golem. Lots of sneaky goblins doing some funneling. Did he expect the Teslas there, though? I'm not sure. Royal Champion to help push the Queen. He's got a lot of sneaky goblins for the Town Hall. Alright. Alright. Being very careful with how he sets up the Sui. Champion gets hit by the poison effect, though. Which is going to slow her down quite a bit. We pop King ability, take out the enemy Queen. Flame Flinger is still getting great value. Might be able to take out the Eagle here. Sneaky Goblin part is starting. Here comes CC Troops. Rocket Balloons toward the Queen. Do we drop the Poison right away? Do we drop the Poison right away? Might need her ability. Those Rocket Balloons hit so hard. There's the ability. King getting slowed down. RC going for the Multi. We use the Invis for the RC. He's got one more Invis for the Sneakies on the Town Hall. Alright. Sends the Sneakies. Oh my gosh. The Giant Bomb. The first Sneaky didn't pull it. <gasps> Tim is in big trouble. Decides to use the other invis for the queen. Might as well, since the sneakies are all dead. Super dragon out of the flame flinger. Can queen get the multi in the core? That would actually help so much, because he's got to lolo through the town hall now. Pop the early warn ability. Queen doesn't get the multi. That's rough for Tim, man. He used the test sneaky and everything. He got kind of bamboozled there, not going to lie. Not going to lie. Freeze on the scatter shot. Headhunters for the champion. Trying to slowly make her way through. If Queen picked up that middle multi, this would still be a triple. But with the middle multi staying up, it's going to be really close now. Tornado trap spinning. Middle multi is taking out balloon after balloon after balloon. It's up to the warden and the owl. Can they clutch up? Oh, I don't think they can, right? I don't know. Red Bomb hits all the minions in the middle. 20, 19 seconds. 18, 17, 16, 15. He's not going to get it. 12, 11, 10, 9. Rip Tim, dude. It's so close. The plan was solid. That giant bomb was just too good. Oh, jeez. 93%. Stars is in with some twin hog action. Some baconator action. For Navi. Cool. Hound balloons. Redirect the hound. 
Blimp going for the town hall. It's got to be super minion blimp with all those bomb towers there. And the blimp makes it over the walls. Super minions. Tornado trap's going to be awkward. Still should be able to get the value though. Super minions are alive. Town hall drops. Get these expos. We already got the inferno tower. We get the rage tower as well. Yes, we get the rage tower. Okay. All right, cool. Queen picks up the wizard tower. She's going to make her way to the left. King to join her with the suit. We got one ice golem to help support as well. Nice. Might have dropped the ice golem too early here. What was on the top side there? Might have just been a balloon. I'm not sure. King headhunter fighting the enemy queen. Wizard on the left side. The king go inside the walls here? That's clutch. Nope, he dips back out. Rip. I had to say something. I had to say something. Oh, queen, go inside. The king better not pull her. Okay, she goes back to the left for the scatter shot. Good. Pops queen ability. Remember, there's still CC troops that he has to fight, I think. Biggies are in from the top side of the base. Here we go. Just gonna have to YOLO fighting the CC troops. We pop the warden ability. We rage. Rocket balloons out of the CC. Super minions as well. At least the champion can get through the rocket balloons pretty quickly. Poison can help deal with the super minions some. I think this is better case scenario for stars than if it was a lava hound because the RC would get stuck on it forever. We got a healing spell. Hogs are moving through. Some more backup hogs from the right side trying to do some good funneling. Diggy stunning defenses. Hogs are distracting the monolith. Freeze on the right side. Scatter. Three headhunters in for the champion and they take her out. It's looking decent for stars. He needs this triple to get Na'Vi back into the match. We are going to be all tied up if Na'Vi hit this three star. Down goes the scatter. Champion moving through. No more spell support. But if some of these hogs can stay in front of the champion as we get to the king section, we might be able to make it through. We've got a giant in there as well. Hogs take out the Tesla. Take out the bomb tower. Take out the other Tesla. Champion. Poison lizard. Poison lizard to act as a headhunter to help us get through the king. That's beautiful as the hog riders make it through the last couple defenses. We got 30 seconds for cleanup. Riders, super riders on the top side getting through the walls. He's got it. That's a triple for stars. He gets it done and we are all tied up. Seven to seven. And Navi actually take the lead on percent. CMG in with their next attack. If they get a triple here, well, they're going to put a lot of pressure on Navi. Let's see if they can do it with the Queen Walk, Electro Dragon's recall spell. All right, cool. Queen on the left side, let her get the air defense, maybe a couple more buildings, and then recall her, and then drop her again on the bottom side. It's a pretty classic plan. We've been seeing this a lot against the box bases in the last couple months. Let's see if it'll work out. As soon as Queen gets the storage, well, we don't even let her get the storage. We're going to go ahead and recall right away. Drop her down here on the bottom side. Yep, use the last healer on her as well. Might as well. He might forget. There's the last healer. Wall break. Okay. Warden on air mode with the Phoenix. E drags are in toward the storages. Sure. Queen picks up the air defense. E drags have to go to the town hall. We wake it up right there. Might as well start freezing. And we do. Rage. I think you freeze once more. Pop a really late warden ability here. The latest you can. Boom. Pops it right there. Everybody's safe as the town hall blows up. Queen fights the champion. We gotta get through this monolith. We gotta get through the CC building. Ugh. Queen still pulls the hound, man. The timing is just unfortunate. Unfortunate there. Queen pops ability. She'll get the scatter shot. She'll fight the hound. We got the poison spell. Definitely need to take that right side multi. Oh, he didn't get it. Queen won't be able to reach that right side multi. Warden Phoenix, can they target it? They do, but they're switching targets to go assist the queen instead of shooting the multi for the queen. That's going to be an issue. The Phoenix might get it. Well, the Phoenix is OP. Phoenix picks up the right multi. That's going to keep the healers alive. Does that mean he still has a chance? It's possible. King pops ability. Battle drill with the champion moving toward the right side of the base. Test the farm over there, but if there's no skelly traps, they might be able to cruise through it. Queen's still alive and wrapping around. With the CC troops, with one freeze in the pocket, is there a chance this works? Rage Tower makes these defenses do double damage. This is actually going to be rough now. Oh. 
Not sure if he stands a chance here now. Bought the RC ability. Minions take out the cannon. Gets the other cannon as well. Battle drill troops helping out. There's a chance. Hold on. Hold on. Battle drill stuns. Yeti. E Titan comes out. E Titan one shots the skellies. Is Diggy still alive? No, but we get through the scatter. We can get through the queen. 27 seconds. It's going to be so close. We might not be able to get the multi though. Queen versus queen. We got healers on this queen. Bro's gonna be a 99, I swear. This one multi saves the base. Queen might actually die. Oh, nine, eight, seven. She gets the cannon. She goes down, and it's a defense at 96%. The man, the myth, the legend himself, Klaus Nose is in. With one healer, Queen Walk, Lalo, Bat. Clone, Skelly, Super Barb. Oh my gosh, bro. Klaus back to going for the thumbnails. Woo, here we go. I feel like he's been taking a break from trying to get the thumbnails lately, but today he wants it. Let's go. Oh, this is why we love Klaus, dude. Early Warden on ground mode. Okay. Are we putting the healer on the Warden? Super Barb's on the bottom side. Oh, it's going to be a Warden Blimp. It's going to be a Warden Blimp. With the clone spell there, I have a feeling he might be doing Super Minions? Or is it a Blizz? Bro, no way it's just... What the... Oh. We get the Town Hall. We get the Inferno. We get both Expos on each side with just Balloons and a clone spell. Okay. Okay. He lets Warden die. Pulling the CC troops to the bottom of the base now. We're starting to run down the clock. Interesting opener, but I think he got everything he wanted. Queen. Poison spell. Super Barb. Sure. Here goes the king to walk toward the eagle. I think queen's meant to go to the multi. Cool. Still have that one healer, guys. There goes the healer on the queen. It's a baby queen charge. Queen picks up the mortar. King gets the cannon. Gonna go toward the eagle. This wall break. Oh, it's a normal wall breaker. Just testing for traps, I guess. King gets the expo as well. Queen goes in for the multi. Sends another normal wall breaker. And now the super breaker. Invis for the queen, the healer, the unicorn. Super breaker makes it all the way. Technically does give queen access to the left multi. All right. Ice golem champion on the left. Queen's going to have to pop ability here. Pops it, takes out the champion, takes out the multi. I'm loving it. Hashtag not sponsored by McDonald's. Skeleton trap or spell to help the champion to sit on the left side. Only 55 seconds though. We got to start this Lalo. Here we go. Lava hound from each side. Balloons, balloons. Okay. 48 seconds time is going to be a big issue here. Skeleton's trapped to distract the champion. More balloons. Bat spell. Hay spell. It's so interesting seeing the bat spell in the mix there. Helping the balloons distract some of these defenses. Champion has her ability. Two freezes. One headhunter. Is it enough, guys? Or is he going to end up with a time fail? Ooh, he's got to clean up minions. Clean up pups. It's wrecked. It's either triple or time fail. TBH honest with you. Free spell. Tornado trap spinning. He needs some cleanup over here. Can we drop the last balloon right there? Freeze on the enemy king. 14 seconds. Drop the balloon on the right. Please, Klaus. Please. Drop the balloon on the right. Yes. You got the haste spell. Do you need to use it? 98. 99. Haste your way to the last building. And a three star. And Navi. Take the lead. General Lex with the queen on the top side. Flame flinger on the right side. A lot of hog riders. In a, oh, he messed up this invis. Skelly Donut. He messed up that invis bad. Second one's good. Queen walking up with the golem. He's trying to multitask like a boss. And he makes the CC invisible again. This is why you don't multitask on the Skelly Donut. He decides to stop dropping skellies. Let the CC stay up. No poison spell. This is big trouble for General X. This is why you do the Skelly Donut first. Then focus on the Sui. One mistake like that. And now he's in big trouble. Queen, Golem making their way to the town hall, but CC troops. CC troops. The Hound comes out. He's got to freeze until the Queen targets the town hall before the Hound. 
Oh boy. Use the invis. Pops the queen ability. That's the right call there. Get the town hall. She didn't get it. She didn't get it. She switched targets. You gotta be kidding me, man. Oh, that's so unfortunate for General X. He's actually in big trouble. Yikes. King on the left. We have to hog through the town hall. That's worst case scenario when you have to hog the town hall. There's a freeze. Uh-oh. And this is their last attack, too. This is triple or lose for Chazmat game, and they're not going to be able to get through it all, are they? King on the left side. At least he's distracting the eagle. We pop war and ability. We get past the town hall, but now we're toast. No more spell support after that last freeze, and there's way too many defenses. Champion in the middle, queen in the middle. They're all raged up, doing double damage to these hog riders, creating bacon all day long. It fizzles out. It fizzles out fast, too. Rip. Nice try, General X. Gotta focus on that skelly donut, man. Then do your suey. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Navi got a one-star attack, and they're still going to be able to walk away with the victory today. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Jeez. Still got another wizard to deploy. Can try to pick up another building or so. But he's going to get stalled up right here. Picks up the pad for 86. Might even have time to get the cannon. Not sure. in the bomb tower. Warden goes down. The expo on one HP. Phoenix gets the bomb tower and the cannon for 88. Still really good percent, man. If Queen got the town hall, if the Skelly Donut would have just worked, I think this actually would have been a triple. Rip the homie. Kazuma is in with some dragons, a bat spell, and two lightning spells. Cool. Let's see what he's got. Where does he start? One E drag, nine normal dragons, three rocket balloons, and eight normal balloons. Baby Dragon, Balloon, two Lightning Spells for that right side sweeper. Alright. Sneaky Goblins all around. We're going to do a Sui into the Eagle? I guess so. Bat Spell and E-Drag in toward the Eagle section. Ooh. Look at these chains, too. Boom. Down goes the Air Defense. That's pretty cool. Then the Dragon's on the right side of the Eagle. Alright. I like that. Warden and dragons gonna start making their way inside. We rage. We drop the battle blim. Lots of lots of archers out of the defensive clan castle. That left side sweeper still kind of getting some shots off, but who cares? Battle blimp soaring. We pop the warden ability. Freeze on the left. Battle blimp makes it all the way. Super minion bomb. Do we have a clone spell? No. No need for a clone, huh? Look at that. He only needed one invis. They got the town hall right away. Then let the invis expire. They get the monolith right away. Yo, nice. Effective super minion bomb with just one rage, one invis. That's it. No clone. No need to overcomplicate things. No need to invest a million spells. Keep it simple and it works. I like it. King queen on the right side of the base. The dragon's still pushing through the left side. This is looking pretty good for Kazuma. Looking pretty good for him. Still has a champion to deploy. Still has four spells in his pocket. This is crushed, man. This has got to be crushed. Queen even steps inside perfectly for the scatter shot. Rage Tower gets triggered a little bit early. It might expire before Queen and Champion get there. That's perfect. King gonna have to pop ability because that double damage expo did lock onto him. He's trying to wait for this rage effect to expire before we drop our champion. And now it's expired. Where do we drop the champion? We drop her in combination with King and Queen to take out the enemy king with the headhunter as well. Just drop them all together. Start freezing up. We got two freezes, two invis to work with there. There's the first freeze. There's the invis for the dragon and the warden. Tornado trap catches, though. Ooh. Being patient with the spells. I think that's the right call. Pop the RC ability. Boom, boom, boom. Snipe a few more defenses. Queen stops ability, which is nice. When do we use the last freeze? Right now. Because we can hit five defenses with one freeze. That's clutch. And it's wrecked. He can swag the invis. Another three star for Na'Vi. They finish with four triples in this match. They didn't have a single two-star. LOL. Look at this. Four triples and a one-star. 
<laughs> and it's a victory for Navi. 13 to 11. 97.8 to 91.8.